Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for January 10, 11 and 12. We did receive a 6.3 earthquake back in January 5th in Loyalty Islands and it's been fairly quiet since, mainly due to an increase in solar influence. I believe we may receive a significant ramping up and potential 7 plus earthquake during this watch period. And the main reason for this, the KP index showed a geomagnetic storm was recorded late January 6 and a K5 and K4 were recorded and we're still undergoing high solar winds and solar influence. We are looking at the solar wind data and we had some fairly abnormal readings. Solar winds remain stagnant or flatlining at around about 350 kilometres a second for about a day and a half and then we've seen a very sharp increase in the telemetry and we're now receiving a fresh new coronal hole speed stream and I'm expecting that the solar winds to drop from these high levels and they're around about 550 at the moment and once these levels um, drop sharply I'm expecting we will be at risk for a very significant earthquake perhaps 7 plus in magnitude. Okay we're looking at the SDO 193 angstrom and I'm trying to find some coronal holes and map them with earth so I'm looking for a symmetry between sun and earth and the coronal holes will give me a good guide as to where it may be as I'm trying to find this 7 plus earthquake. Now the main coronal hole is sitting 18 to 22 degrees south latitude and this is the one that's earth facing at the moment and this will be perhaps the January 10, 11 time frame. There are some more coronal holes in behind and these are quite violent and changing quite rapidly and these may also represent a danger perhaps January 11 and 12 so this would be the second area I'll plot. I'll plot this now as this is adjacent to the sunspot 11143. Okay and the main region mapped accordingly would be the Vanuatu Loyalty Islands region again. I know this area has been affected um, the last few weeks and we don't want to be seeing another earthquake in this area but the solar telemetry seems to indicate that 18 to 22 degrees is where this event may be and we hopefully it's it's not going to be in this region again but it looks like that this would be the most likely area as it has been activated. The second area would be on the other side above Chile and that would be the southern Peru border and this is also conducive to some very large earthquakes so there may be a potential 7 plus earthquake in either of these regions. Um, possibly the Tarapaca Chile may be the most likely of these two areas but I do feel that there is a large earthquake headed our way and it's most likely in one of these regions. There is a slight risk that Mozambique may receive this earthquake also. It does sit on the 18 to 22 degree risk zone and although the last earthquake was 2006 it does seem to look like it may be a land based event so there may be a risk for Mozambique although this is not an area that I've plotted before. There is a risk that the Reunion Island volcano called the Piton de la Funaise may be at risk for an earthquake or a, vo or a volcanic eruption so as it does sit in this um, danger zone so there is a risk for this also and also Mauritius which is adjacent to will be in play. Okay we're looking at a still right now it's a 304 angstrom. Now the earthquake recorded on January 5 was from this region that I'm circling now this was the very beginning of the scar uh, that's left on the solar corona that's been here for a month or two from the filament eruption. Now we do have a fairly large feature at the base end of this and this is earth facing at the moment and this may be where our solar winds are coming from and maybe being received from this region. And we're looking at this solar monitor imagery now and we can see this is around about 28 degrees to about 33 so we may see some smaller events in this region and I'm going to be using this as a timeline um, as it will give us an idea of perhaps half a day to a day away from the event that I've just plotted um, from 18 to 22 degrees. So we use this as like a template. Now we're going to be concentrating on the next coronal holes which will be for January 11 and 12. Okay back to the moving imagery and here is the SEO and there is another active region and there is a fairly dangerous coronal hole underneath and it's starting to be um, fairly violent right now so this represents a risk just above the equator region so this will put the Banda Sea at risk in the Indonesian region and also Papua New Guinea um, slightly underneath so I'll plot these two areas now and there may be a 6.5 earthquake in this region also along with the fairly large earthquake in the southern hemisphere. 
Now the solar monitor imagery does look quite dangerous as the contrast is quite different and we can see a very large and powerful coronal hole that extends right up to about 33 degrees north latitude so this is a fairly powerful sort of system here although we don't see it too clearly on the moving imagery there are a few very dangerous areas that are moving. Okay I've plotted a region that seems to be fitting quite well and that's the Sulu Sea region in Indonesia. Now we don't get earthquakes in this region but there are some volcanoes above and uh, sort of like on the side and this would indicate that the Mindanao Philippines may be at risk of an earthquake um, and perhaps the region just underneath um, also and it's still Mindanao Philippines and Mora Gulf um, just um, next to and adjacent to. So there are some regions here and it will be the above Indonesian region towards Philippines that may be in play. And the next area would be the Malacca Sea. Now we've already had a 5.5 today. There may be a further event and just stretching down to the Banda Sea. So there may be something else. I'm feeling that it may be slightly southern hemisphere which will put the Banda Sea at risk. Now this area I've been monitoring closely. It is quite dangerous. We don't want to be seeing anything in here at all. So um, this would be um, the main area of concern for me um, with these coronal holes. And the other area at risk um, just under the equator is the Peru-Ecuador border. So that is also at risk. Um, I think one of these areas will receive um, a fairly significant earthquake, um, perhaps 6.5 in magnitude, and it may be in one of these areas, um, perhaps Indonesia, Philippines, or around the uh, equator region across towards um, Peru-Ecuador. Okay, that is my earthquake volcano watch. Thanks for watching.